I just wanted to be carefree. With absolute confidence in my body, my baby and us, my future husband by my side, and also his absolute confidence in all of this," said Josie Pucard, who delivered her baby Bodhi on the shores of Nicaragua. In life, there are those who do things differently from others because they feel more connected to their ideas than to following traditional parameters. This can be applied to many areas, even when it comes to being a mother and giving birth. That's the case for Josie Pucair, a 37-year-old mother who brought her baby into the world her own way. In fact, the birth of this German woman has caught the attention of the media after she decided to give birth on a beach in Nicaragua on the water's edge and without any medical assistance. For her, it was a real connection with nature and her partner. She went viral after she shared a video giving birth to her baby boy in the Pacific Ocean. She called the labor and delivery a free birth and had her partner catch the placenta with a sieve. Josie Pucair uploaded a post on Instagram showing how she and her partner drove to the beach so she could have her baby on the shoreline of Playa Majagual, Nicaragua with the water lapping at her back. The video of waves crashing into her as she writhes in pain through contractions has been watched over 200,000 times. The waves had the same rhythm as the contractions. That smooth flow made me feel really good, Josie told Jam Press. I got this idea in my head I wanted to give birth in the ocean. And because the conditions were right on the day, that's what I did. When Josie knew her labor was starting, her children went to stay with friends and Benny drove the couple to the beach with a birthing toolkit which included towels, a bowl with a sieve to catch the placenta, gauze and paper towels. Josie said, After Bodhi was born and wrapped up in towels, I went back into the ocean to freshen up. Then I got dressed and we packed everything up and drove home where the three of us got straight into bed. Later that evening, we weighed Bodhi with luggage scales. He was 3.5 kilos or 7 pounds 6 ounces. The mom of four says she wanted her baby to be born with no medical intervention because doctors and midwives take away from what the female body can do on its own. She said, I wanted to be worry free for once. My first birth was traumatic in a clinic and my second birth was a home birth, but by the third even a midwife in my home was too much. This time I had no doctor's appointments or scans or outside influence. We didn't have a due date or deadline for the baby to arrive. We just trusted that our baby would make its way. I had no fears or worries to welcome a new little soul into our lives. Just me, my partner, and the waves. It was beautiful. The soft volcanic sand under me reminded me there's nothing else between heaven and earth, just life. Josie gave birth to a baby boy, Bodhi Amor Ocean Cornelius, on 27th of February 2022. She said, for weeks, I monitored the tide and so when the time was right for me to give birth, I knew the beach would be safe for us. Bodhi's a really calm and satisfied baby. Everything is wonderful for him if he's in his mama's arms. He's just as relaxed as he was in my tummy. Josie and her husband-to-be, Benny Cornelius, 42, emigrated to Nicaragua from Germany where they met and had their first child together, Marley Mune, now two. Between them, they have seven children. When Bodhi was two days old, Josie shared a video and birth story on her Instagram page, at Ragapunzel, where she has 6,800 followers and her video was shared all over the world. It has now been seen over 200,000 times. However, after sharing her experience, Josie received some comments of concern and criticism about her choice to free birth in the sea. One commenter asked, Is this sanitary? There's a lot of bacteria in the sea. Another wrote, What a shock for that bubba, from a warm moon to the cold ocean. Responding to the troll, she added, Bonnie was born in the midday sun when it was about 35 degrees. We weren't worried at all that he'd be cold and I had no concerns about waterborne infections. He's perfectly healthy. I did all the research I needed to do to make sure it was safe. Water is a barrier that is medically proven. For me and this baby, I wanted to feel completely connected by my own self-directed care. This pregnancy was the greatest gift we could have imagined and wished for. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with someone who may find it interesting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.